So after spending a week in Bulgaria, I packed my bag and it was time to fly to Rome. The flight was pretty quick, so it made me realise how close everything really is in Europe. After arriving I caught a train and I went straight to my hostel. So I stayed at a place called Yellow Square Rome. The rooms were very tidy. I stayed in a four share with two Americans and a French guy. Great bathroom. Just a good room. Big windows for ventilation. Plenty of storage. And they actually added a safe, which was a nice touch. Overall, Yellow Square was actually quite good. Good morning, I'm in Rome and this is the first ancient building that I've seen. So I'm on my way to the Colosseum. Um, decided to get up early. Tomorrow I'll get up even earlier to avoid the crowds. But uh, so far so good. It's not too busy in Rome. And yeah, let's get to the Colosseum. And here it is, the Colosseum. This thing is so absolutely massive. When I first saw it, I just laughed a little at just how stupidly big it was for an ancient building built nearly 2,000 years ago. So I booked a ticket to go inside, and on I went, shuffling in with a sea of tourists to visit one of the busiest tourist attractions in the world. Colosseum was a giant theatre for events, the greatest in the ancient world. You can only see the stone remains of the structure, but the oval was the main stage. It was covered in timber. Underneath you'd have a brick wall support structures and many different rooms. This was an area where the next fighters or performers would get ready. They could raise up props, people, animals, anything onto the stage from beneath and it would suddenly appear through trapdoors. A lot of marble was stripped from the Colosseum and anything that was timber rotted away long ago. But the stadium seating went all the way around and the roof had big shade sails. It is quite surreal to think about the fact that I'm walking on these surfaces just like millions of ancient Romans did. Somehow, this one ancient building, unlike so many others, managed to survive the test of time. So I just finished my meal at Mama Eats Roma, which is a 100% gluten-free Italian restaurant. And they serve, you know, all of the classics, but 100% gluten-free. So pizza is my favorite food. And the fact that I could have a 100% gluten-free pizza was amazing. Um, I ordered a big pizza and a salad, and the waitress was kind of like, you sure? Like, you know, do you want like an entree size? I was like, no, 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 I got this. When I wasn't visiting a specific place, I would just wander around, walking 10 to 15 kilometers a day, just taking in all of the sights. Then one day I stumbled across this giant staircase and I climbed up, and it led to some great views.
At some point, I walked past the Panthenon, the temple to all the gods. Built by Marcus Agrippa, it's a fully intact ancient Roman building and was built during the reign of his friend, the first emperor, Augustus. So this is the Victor Emmanuel II monument, which despite its ancient appearance, is a neoclassical interpretation of a Roman forum built between 1885 and 1935. It was built to mark the unification of Italy under the first king. And while it's an impressive structure, it just seems a bit too big and unnecessary for something built only a hundred years ago. It's kind of like it's pretending to be part of the spectacle of ancient Rome, while in reality it's just a big fuck off monument steeped in rhetoric and nationalism. So I'm just walking around Palatine Hill, which is one of the oldest parts of Rome. It's one of the seven hills in Rome, but it's the most central. It's kind of the nucleus of Rome. Um, and it's also where the first imperial palace was that Augustus built. So it's a very historic and interesting part of Rome. Strangely enough, if you get up early enough, like I've been saying, you can see most of this I've had to myself, um, even the museum. I was walking around the museum by myself, which is kind of unheard of. So to summarise, despite all of the tourists, and there were so many, 
I really enjoyed my time in Rome. I loved just walking around and exploring. Every city has something to offer that's special. Something you can't get elsewhere. And for me, Rome was a place where I could contemplate human history. Rome has existed for over 2,500 years. The ancient monuments and buildings, they're reminders of another world. A world that was the foundation of the modern world we live in. There isn't another place on earth quite like it. Rome will always be the centre of the ancient world.